hi everybody a very warm welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to discuss about organic chemistry and this is the first lecture on it it is very useful for the students who are going to appear for the medical entrance examinations like NEET, IOM, AMS, etc. So without spending more time on it, let's start the topic organic chemistry. First thing which comes in our mind is that what is organic chemistry? Basically organic chemistry is chemistry of organic compounds. Here organic compounds can be studied under two subparts. The very one first part is hydrocarbons and the second part is derivatives of hydrocarbons. Here hydrocarbons are compounds containing carbon and hydrogen in their structure. For example, methane or damp fire or Mars gas has a molecular formula of CH4 ethane C2H6 ethane C2H6 ethene C2H4 ethane C2H2 moving to derivatives of hydrocarbons these are hydrocarbons containing hetero elements like nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, phosphorus, halogens, and boron. Etc. For example, methanoic acid has a formula of HCOOH. Likewise, ethanamide CS3CONH2. Ethanol CH3CH2OH Ethanol chloride CH3COCl So finally here in the hydrocarbons we can see only carbon and hydrogen are the elemental parts but in their derivatives oxygen, nitrogen and chlorine are present as heteroatoms. So moving to another subtopic, elemental compositions or elemental analysis of organic compounds. The elements of organic compounds can be categorized as essential elements under which carbon and hydrogen comes, hetero elements under which nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur, halogens, inhalogens, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, and boron comes and finally in elements of salt form are mainly calcium sodium and potassium if you will do elemental analysis of biomolecules you will find hydrocarbons as the building blocks which are derivatized in various forms for various other biomolecular compounds for example, if you will see carbohydrates and lipids, an extra element oxygen is present in their structure. Likewise, in protein and amino acids, you will find extra atom nitrogen and sulfur. And finally, in nucleic acid and RNA along with DNA, the extra atom is phosphorus. So, this is a elemental analysis of biomolecules. Now, the next topic is vital force theory. Without discussing vital force theory, we cannot move forward in organic chemistry. Vital force theory was given by J. J. Berzelius in 1815 AD, which states that organic compounds can't be synthesized in lab that may be from organic compounds, inorganic, sorry, inorganic compounds. Synthesis of organic compound require a vital force and only living organisms contain vital force. 
but this hypothesis was rejected so coming to rejection of vital force theory first rejection first rejection was done by friedrich wohler in 1828 ad who is regarded as father of organic chemistry he accidentally prepared urea in lab from ammonium chloride and potassium cyanate as nh4cl combines with kcno and on heating it forms an intermediate nh4cno which is rearranged in urea nh2o nh2 so this is ammonium chloride this is potassium cyanate this is ammonium cyanate and finally urea was obtained urea was the first organic compound synthesized in lab the second organic compound was acetic acid synthesized by kolbe from its cement carbon hydrogen and oxygen and finally the third organic compound was methane synthesized by wrathlot 